This level is so beautiful and so out of frame. That is fantastic, though. Okay, up, down, oh, up, try, down, try, down. try turning the the draw distance down on this one. Uh, the it makes a huge difference. Um, draw uh, distance in the middle. There I, well, yes, there it is. Uh, so what, just near? Near. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, everything is gone. <laughs> there are some trees. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Yeah. But what you're seeing in the background, those trees, those are painted onto the, the uh, cyclorama, the skybox. Yeah, I thought as much. So they're not real. Mm. That is amazing. Engineering trees. Um, oh, you know, the, uh, actually... oh, that's interesting. I think that looks different. The crate? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I, probably. It's it. However, it is the same image that's in. Uh, it's the. Oh, what's it called? You know the uh, Clank skill point where you hit. You have to get the the special picture oh, so they on, the, it on there. the slot machine. Yeah, it's that. Oh, good. Uh, yeah, the, the those crate textures. Um, Tony might have even made those. I'm not sure. Or he he got uh, someone to make them for him as a favor. I, but, I know uh, he created the idea of the multiplication crate and the and the wrench crate because there was a crate there. of beer uh, up yep. up for grabs. Yeah. The 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 story, just in case anyone didn't hear it, was uh, Tony uh, Ted uh, Tony wanted to make some new crates. Ted said it's impossible. If you can make new crates, then I'll buy you a uh, case of beer. And that was, in, you know, noteworthy because Ted never bought people beer. Uh, so Tony did it. He got the beer. Long story short. Mm. And we're all grateful. Oh, it's not stopping. No. Oh. <laughs> Please die. <laughs> wow. Quite frankly, I could buy the rhino with this. Uh, yeah. I mean, you could just cheat yourself the rhino, too. I, I have it. <laughs> But, I mean, I, if I wanted to, I could just buy it with it at this rate. No, I thought you were dead. Oh, go away. No. Disappear. Please. Oh, my God, there's too much. I, I can't deal. <laughs> that. I don't mess you up to you. That's a lot oh, wow, of stuff. That's, that's like uh, bullet time. That's really cool. Imagine like a Toho game where you had to dodge all of this. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'd come shooting at you and just like bullets. Yeah. That, I mean, that's that's what Toho is. It's basically bullet hell the game. I've always wanted to know what's up here, you know, because this is where the enemies come from. <coughs> and I finally get to find out. The answer? Nothing. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm really glad I tried that. <laughs> I wonder if it's because draw distance is off. That it's still glitching. It might be. I'm going to turn it off and pray that that fixes it. Oh, it fixed it. No, it didn't. Never mind. I thought it fixed it. No. You probably just have to die. Oh. I won't die though because I'm so overpowered at the moment. No, just jump into the water. That'll fix it. No, oh, I suppose it's true. Does that require effort? <laughs> Fine, in you go. <laughs> Guess I died. That's sad. <laughs> Let's see, so what, what else do we have on this menu here? Uh, I will go inside and uh, we will look. Oh, the water moves with me. Yes. Ha, huh, that's interesting. Yeah, the, um, it's weird how it works. I don't, I don't think I understand it well enough to explain it, but yeah, it's one of the tricks that makes the water look good. Okay. Uh, so yeah, what is there we want to show off? What's different? Because there's a, a lot. Okay, what's the, yeah, okay, first off, what's the vol chain on the left? Or v, VU1 chain? That's I don't know. Okay. Uh, that's probably referring to some sort of internal uh, limit, right? Like they want to come in under Okay. Some amount of usage of that, but I have no idea. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to look and see if there are any of these that are. What's like, what's? Can you turn on? 
Can you turn on uh, under the green draw heading? Can you turn on everything? Uh, bookmark wouldn't work on this. It's uh, programmers could put bookmarks in the level so you could skip to them, uh, but that only worked on the dev kits. Uh, so turn on everything on here. Yeah, I just want to see if any of that works. Okay, I can do. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh, yep. Tuning is black, white, blue off. What do you want me to on? Oh, they won't turn on? Uh, oh, oh. It, it's black, white, or blue. Uh, oh, that's what color it's going to be. So uh, I guess blue is fine. Sky on, sound on. Oh, whoa. Right. Hey. Okay, so the, the text is working. Yeah. Um, let's see, what does that say down there? Oh, the, uh, the blue spray. thing is coming around the boxes, the crates. Yeah, those are the Moby numbers of those crates. So basically, like every every Moby, I talked about that in the last series. Yeah. Uh, had a number, right? And that was where all the code went. It was in that Moby number file. So with this, you get to see not only which things are Mobies, but also you know which Moby they are. I see. I do. I I do like that. Uh, huh. World time. So is that in okay. in milliseconds? Oh no, I was totally wrong about what that is. That's difficulty tuning information. Oh, okay. The Moby numbers must not be working. That's too bad. That was fun. Hero position, camera position, world time. Is HP my HP? No, enemy HP. Let me see. Where, where is it? Uh, 5344, 5347. No, that's XP. Uh, oh, yeah, it is. Ah, oh, you're right. See how that H Yeah, yeah. I thought it was a H. Sorry, yeah. It's, I see, it's lame. Yeah. I see, yeah. So what's world time? Just how long I've spent here? Yeah, so the way the difficulty tuning system worked was uh, if you spent a lot of time essentially dying in one segment of the game, later segments of the game will remove enemies and add crates and stuff like that. So uh, world time is how much actual time have you been playing the game, and then there's probably another marker of how much time have you been fighting, uh, although we may not have had that by this early. Mm. I see. Using Clank's um, so let's see. Uh, so the text, the where it says hero pause and all that, we talked about that last time, right? Those are the global coordinates. Mm. So uh, in in 3D space, Ratchet Ratchet's x coordinate is 562 ish, right? Mm. Uh, 480 for his y. That's that's where he is up and down. Oh no, no, that's wrong. Normally, the up and down is Y. In this engine, it's Z. So the third one goes up and down. Yeah. So it's X, say, Y, it's Z. Yeah. So, uh, and then cam pause, that's the position of the camera. So if you whirl it around ratchet, that'll change. Yeah. Uh, camera rotation, that's, you know, what the rotation is on X, Y, and Z for the camera right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then world time, that I think just keeps going up forever. It just tracks how much time has passed since either the level's loaded or the game was loaded. Mm. So should I just turn all these off? Yeah, leave leave tuning on because uh, that might be useful to talk about later. Uh, yeah, I was actually going to because that's there seems to be a little bit uh, behind it, like HP deficit, bolt deficit, current HP. My current HP one hundred seventy one thousand. What? <laughs> sure, it's not XP. You're right. <laughs> Jesus, why can I yeah. not differentiate them? <laughs> because they look the same. Yeah, they do, but yeah. Showing minus one, yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if the uh, titanium bolt's still here. Oh, they might be. It is. Hey. There you go. And it's the same mm. animation. Is it called a titanium bolt though? So we find out. So it is. It's still a titanium bolt. In the uh, menu, the debug menu. Mm. If you push R twice to go to tuning, or one more time, sorry, there go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, four times. Yeah. So you're in you're in level two. You see how those numbers are changing over there? Yeah. Um, the at the beginning of the level, all of those in level two were zeros, right? And it's sort of tracking information about how many times uh, Ratchet dies, how many, how long he's taking. Uh, so basically, trying to figure out how hard of a time he's having with the enemies in this segment and then there's two of them enemy zero right enemy segment zero and then enemy two that's enemy segment two mm -hmm. so in um 
in the other menus, like where it tells you, where it talks about segments, those numbers will match up to these numbers here. Okay. So, so why uh, does it like leap from level 13 to 16, 18, 26, 29? Well, we didn't actually make the levels in the right order. We don't usually. But and, are there uh, even 29 levels? Y no, there aren't. Uh, the, But you can number a level whatever you want. Yeah, okay. Uh, and then sometimes levels will get switched around in order, you know, and it'll still be called level 8 because that's how we referred to it. I'm going to immensely regret this. <laughs> this might make it easier. Oh, would it? See, you see how it's changing future levels when you change that? Yeah. Uh, you won't see any repercussions in the segment you're in right now. You'll just see repercussions in future segments, like enemies will be missing, crates will be there, stuff like that. Right. I thought this would, I thought reducing that would, or increasing it would make it harder. Um, I'm not sure which one it does because it's been so long since I've used this system, and this system wasn't my favorite one, so I don't remember everything so about if it. I increase it again, does it... Does it increase my damage? I don't think it does. Also, that is a slightly different image, I think. I think it does oh, yeah. increase my my Your damage a little bit. Attack have been greatly increased for a limited time. It might be tied to damage, but I didn't think so. I thought the only thing it did was remove enemies and add crates. Oh, okay. But it, it's possible. So, uh, I mean, I mean that, the, the it game would be a lot easier out with a debug menu than it would, you know, normally. Yeah, I mean, the, the, definitely I noticed in Venture only when I was dying, I was losing less health. Between walls. Uh, but I don't know how many times wall. you have to die for it to trigger. So most of these debug menus are, you know, like, cheat yourself, stuff, warp to a new level. Like, they're, they don't have a whole lot of new debugging information that they give you. Right. Beyond what we've seen before, but there's uh, there are a few things like this uh, difficulty tuning level, uh, the post effects menu. You, like you can play around with some of the effects, like we did with fog, mm -hmm. uh, stuff like that. You can, I think you can also watch all of the ship transitions from one of the menus, like the ship flying through. Yeah, space. it looks like you could. Yeah. Uh, let's see what else is there. So there's. Is there anything else on here that we want to show off? Um, yeah, I'm taking a two. What does dump mm -hmm. do in mode? I don't know. Try it out. Normal, normal two, filter, medium, high, normal, normal. Okay, let's try filter. Um, it created some rocks. Rocks? Like the floor is either either rocks or the floor has mumps. One of the two. Weird. Okay, what does medium do? Um, I don't know. Normal two? Hi? It might be, uh... I don't know. It doesn't, uh, it doesn't actually seem to be changing anything. We did have a, a oh test, uh, or sorry, a uh, development kit only feature where you could record movies by playing the game. So the dump and movie might be for doing that on a dev kit. I see. These rocks weren't here in the original. Miner? There's one called Miner. Oh, they weren't? No. Also, why is it some of these get destroyed and some of these don't? Like, sometimes the the bottom bit gets destroyed. Is there they have to reason? be set up specifically to be destroyed. So it probably means someone forgot to set those up, the ones ah. that can't be. Okay. Uh, or, Miner, did you say? So yeah, that remember uh, in the previous series we were talking about how if you beat a level and come back, it has different, uh, like it gives you different rewards. It has different enemies in it, that sort of thing. Mm. Uh, when, when you turn miner on in that debug menu, it tricks the game into thinking you're in the miner segment. So you're getting different amounts of XP and treasure and, you know, oh, uh, okay. area. Crates might be there that weren't there or enemies or things like that. Right. No. Not again. <laughs> Get me out Trump. of here. Chunk is useful. That there's there's something to explain, but I don't think this level has anything to talk about with Chunk. Right. We'll come back to that then. I need to get out of here. This is gonna crash the. I got the Omni Wrench V3. Hi. Huh, it actually talks about the wrench upgrading. 
Does it not do that in the final? No, it does we not. Have come huh. The game never tells you that the wrench is actually Where? upgrading. I wonder why we took that out. I don't know. You. Also, the wrench is the most basic thing. Like, it, it's even more basic than in the first game. It's got no color to it. It's just silver. The Omni Wrench 2000. Ooh, so. Let me see. What levels are on this thing? Zero, two, three, four, and five. Five is Dax, but you tried to load that up and it died, Yeah, it right? didn't work. It died. Uh, oh, no, no. Dax would be s four. And it says four's on here. No, would Dax be six? Because it would be after Tyrannosis. The, n the level numbers in this menu are... A little weird. Like Belden isn't level one; it's level zero. Right. Okay. Uh, Florana was level two. So what's level one? I think the the Starship Phoenix might still be there, level three. Okay, that'd be cool. I'll just make uh, safe states and make sure. Marcadia is probably level four, and then I'll bet you that Tyrannosis is level five. Yeah, possibly. Did you say Aquatos would be there? Uh, it doesn't seem to be there. Oh, okay. That's but, I mean, we could try. I mean, what was it called? Ocean Hideout, level 8. I'll try I'll try going there on mine and see if it works. No, I want to make a safe state. <laughs> yeah, good point. Uh, let me, let me go to control and camera control, because I feel like seeing if skill points exist in this version. And to do that, I need to not get her at all. How convenient that I'm able to skip this entire level. How convenient indeed. <laughs> Just like Superman, man. Fly around. Wrong thing. There it is. Oh you my god, I did it. Did I get oh, you skill got points? Um, I can't actually tell. Yes, I did. I did get a skill point. It's oh, there. Complete the path of death without a hit. So some of the skill points work at this point. Yes. Oh, what's well, this at the bottom? Aquatos Mining. Works. Aquatos totally works. Oh, cool. What, what's this at the bottom? Mining. Where? Uh, at the bottom of the screen, it says mining, 3,167. Yeah, you're you're in the miner segment. Uh, and the miner segment, we, we used to say, like, people can go back to it to try to get more bolts out of it, basically mining more bolts. But we limit how effective that strategy can be by reducing, over time, how many bolts you're getting, oh. right? So that... So that it makes you want to move on to somewhere else. So mining, I think that's saying how many bolts have you gotten while you're in the miner segment. Right, okay, that's cool. Interestingly, the teleporter's here before the bounce battle starts. <laughs> well, I wonder if it disappears after the cutscene. I don't know. Let's see, that 203, yeah, that's the amount of time so far you've spent in the miner segment. I don't know what that tick... That thing ticking down from 1600 I is. I think that's how long it has left, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what that was. I mean, the I didn't. I didn't design or implement or have much to do with the balancing systems in this game. Uh, most of that happened at the. You know, my lead was taking care of that stuff. But I, I remember a little bit about how these systems worked. Like there were things where. You know, uh, when you open an ammo crate, there's a whole system that decides what ammo you get from that crate. <laughs> I killed Quark! Wow. Quark is very dead. <laughs> wow. Oh boy. Um, uh, he's not running for president. <laughs> no more Quark, he's uh, shattered. Whoops. Yeah, that, that, uh, that return to your ship. Yeah, there isn't a cutscene for beating him, that's why it happened. Yeah, there is not. I, I also think part of it may be broken <laughs> it seems to have a lot of all of that red there no 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 it's fine he's yeah he's dead everything's okay he's extremely dead oh uh it won't let me oh oh use the debug menu to go there yeah i was gonna say that's boring because that should be working like it should have the other planets up but it does not so um you have to re-enable that cheat in every level if you yeah, want to Yeah, I have those. That's the thing. Let's try Phoenix. 
Did you you push circle when you got into the menu? Ah, That's no. what gives you all the planets. Ah, okay, I see. Yeah, that might be why then. Okay, I got you. So we go into Aquados. Uh, I'm just going to check um, the Starship Phoenix, a.k.a. Outer Space. Yes. Somewhere in outer space. Which also looks like Gaspar. Look at that. Wow, my ship has extreme it's diarrhea. Amazing. <laughs> I, the ship appeared. <laughs> Quark's alive. Wow. Oh, how'd that happen? He resurrected. Yay, Quark. She sounds robotic. Yeah, I think they've put a filter on her voice because it's coming from the thing. It wasn't like that in the final version. Oh, okay. Maybe it was too hard to hear. Ha! <laughs> has the Insomniac Moon on the um, the game station. <laughs> yes, that's the Insomniac Game Pyramid we used to talk about. Yeah. That's cool that it's still there. Yeah, that's cool. I wonder why, why did they change it? Why did they remove it? Because they, the, 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 the moon itself isn't on the pyramid in the final version. I don't know. Maybe they were told they couldn't put the logo there. Maybe. Okay. Um. So, man, I wonder what's it. You, oh. you know what? Fly around through the walls and see where all the stuff is located. Yeah, and this actually but, looks like, really interesting. The map looks different, but it like sort of isn't. Like it, it is definitely I different. That. Like it. I saw a speed run that went outside the boundaries of this level, and when the game's running, you can't see the back faces of of stuff. So. Um, so it's really hard to see where everything is, but with the cheats, you should be able to fly around and actually see stuff, uh, which speedrunners shouldn't, you know, with their glitches, wouldn't actually even be able to see. So where do you want me to go? Just go outside? Go through the floor. Go, okay. Huh. There's a lot to this floor, then. Yep. Whoa, it's, that's awesome. Yeah. See? Wait, there's a separate space station? What is that? Well, that's where you warp to for the VR stuff. Like this, you're going into oh, that. Oh my god, this section. is awesome! <laughs> yeah, see. This is super badass. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's Death Star Mark II? What's this over here? That's is probably. The oh arena. wow, that looks kind of cool, actually. Yeah, I think that's the, uh, the VR arena. arena. Yeah, it is. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, see, just floating out there. Wow, that's so awesome. Yeah, when I saw somebody in a speed run come out here without being able to see all of this, like, that's just amazing. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is so cool. What is this thing? Oh, that's the uh, the, the laser grids. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Huh. This is immensely cool. See if you can go through the, uh, the locked door that would normally take you to the museum. Yes. Uh, also, hey, There's look, it's that area I'm not supposed to get to until very end game. Fun fact, yep. I've actually managed to get through here once, and only once before that. If you charge boots and press triangle, I, I don't know the, the exact timing, but I, I, I think it's also a rare thing. I managed to charge out of here before the door closed. It normally stops your movement once you hit the triangle button. Um, that sounds right, yeah. But yeah, I, I was able to get out uh, once, and only once, and I honestly have no idea how I managed it, uh, and I don't know if I'd ever be able to do it again, but it was kind of cool. Oh, interesting. It's giving me the, uh, it's giving me the oh. uh, trophy wow, for the Wow, trophies are in here. This is late. Yeah. So here's the, here's the, the door. Um, See what happens. I mean, I'm not I mean, expecting anything. I mean, it'll probably crash. Uh, well, it does say in Somnium Museum, um, safe state. Let's, I mean, I mean, I'm ready for the game to crash, but here we go. I mean, I'm thinking crash. Uh, most likely, yeah. But you, you never know. I mean, yeah. uh, may, as well try. may as well try. Burbank! Hey! Burbank! Hey, look, it's about to crash. Yeah, there it is. Oh, look, it crashed. Uh, would, you, would you look at that? Hmm. I, I wouldn't believe you have a save state. Yep, that's that's why I did it. That's that's fine. Load state zero. Oh look, nothing happened. So oh, uh, my memory card was really loud. Oh, it's super loud. Whoops. Sorry. You get on, bro. There we go. There we go. Uh, 
sorry, things. Um, yes, just making sure everything's there. Don't want to lose any of it. Uh, yay. Alright, back to reality. Um, it's nice that it actually saves the uh, debug menu I inputted. It's quite cool. Oh, yeah, that's that's useful. There's a quark poster. There's an insomniac moon. Insomniac game pyramid. Oh, what's yeah. inside these beds? I've always wanted to know. There's absolutely nothing. It's a bed. I mean, there's glass there. You can see what's inside of those yeah. beds. And those bars are enormous. I don't know why Quark doesn't just walk uh -huh. through. Them. Part of the tree goes out of the ship. Yep. Yep. That happens a lot. Uh, I mean, but there's no way you could tell. Yeah. Right. We yeah. usually disguise the seams where that stuff happens. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, right, well, I guess we should see if uh, the core Bitcomics work. Is there, any way to, is there any way to know if we've triggered it? Like, is there uh, any way to trigger it early? I don't... Well, you can, skip, you can try to skip to it in the debug menu. Would it be in the debug menu? It, it, it is, yeah. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll try then. I can try it here too. Let like you know if it crashes. The, life of an the vidcomic number four crashes. I tried that. One. Oh, okay. Well, the first one might work because that's quite early on. You're telling me oh, the first one works. Yeah, I was gonna say it's just after um, Arcadia, so I don't see why not. It might even have. When's the second uh, one? The second one. Aquatos, maybe.